Now the examples based on the probability mass function. So if x is a discrete random variable, we use the function defined as fx of x where this capital X, it is a random variable and this small x, it represents the values that this capital X can take. Now for the probability mass function, the two necessary and sufficient condition for a function to be a probability mass function, the first condition is that the probabilities which is fx of x which is defined as probabilities x is equals to x this is always greater than equals to 0 for all the defined values of x and the second condition that the summation over all the possible values of x of all the probabilities this must be equals to 1. So these are the two condition for a function to be a probability mass function. Now coming to the first question the first question a random variable x is the following probability mass function. So this is a probability mass function. Here x is a discrete random variable because the values of x, they are not defined in an interval. It is defined at distinct points. So the probability at x is equals to 0, this is given by a. Probability at x is equals to 1, this is 3a. Probability at x is equals to 2, this is 5a and so on. So from x is taking values 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 8 and their corresponding probabilities are a, 3a, 5a and this goes till 17a. So the first question is find the value of a. Since it is a probability mass function, and it is a case of a discrete random variable. So we use summation here instead of integration. Now for a function to be a probability mass function, these probabilities must be greater than equals to zero. So that is the first condition that fx of x or the probabilities at x is equals to x, this must be greater than equals to zero. And the second condition is the summation of fx of x over all the values of x, this is equals to one. So for this case here, x is taking values from zero to eight. So the first part that is, as it is a valid probability mass function, so summation x is going from 0 to 8 because x is taking value x is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and this goes till 8 and this is fx of x, this must be equals to 1. So this is equals to, at x is equals to 0, that means we can write this as fx at 0 plus then x is equals to 1 becomes fx at 1 plus this is fx at 2 and this goes till the final is fx at 8, this is equals to 1. So fx at 0, it is basically probability at small x is equals to 0. So fx at 0, this is equals to a, that is this is equals to a, then probability at x is equals to 1, this is plus 3a and this is plus 7a and this goes till plus 17a, this is equals to 1. So if we add all these probabilities, so this is equals to, we can take a common. So this becomes 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus up to 17. And here we have 9 terms because the x is go going from 0 to 8. So total of 9 terms are there. So we can simply add these terms or we can use some of first n terms of an AP which is nothing but the sum formula that is Sn which is equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. What is n? n is the number of term, a is the first term and d is the common difference. Here the number of terms this is 9 so this is 9 by 2 into 2a. The first term this is equals to 1 so this is 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus n minus 1, this is equals to 8, 9 minus 1 is 8 and the common difference, this is 2. So this is 2 and this is equals to 1. So from here, a, this is 9 by 2 and this is 2 plus 16, which is 18 and this is equals to 1, this is 9 and from here, a, it is equals to 1 by 81. So this is the answer for the first case that the value of a this is equals to 1 by 81. So that means here we have 1 by 81 then 3 by 81 so this becomes 3 by 81 then we have 5 by 81 
then 7 by 81, this is 9 by 81, this is 11 by 81, this is 13 by 81, this is 15 by 81 and this is 17 by 81. Now the second is find probability capital X is less than 3. So capital X is less than 3 that means here X is taking only 3 values. One is at X is equals to 0. Second is at x is equals to that is the first is x is equals to 0. Second is at x is equals to 1 and third is x is equals to 2. So when capital X is less than 3 it is taking only 3 values. So the probability is whenever x is less than 3. So it is equals to the second is probability at x is less than 3. So this is simply probability at x is equals to 0 plus probability at x is equals to 1 plus probability at x is equals to 2. So probability at x is equals to 0, it is nothing but a, plus probability at x is equals to 1, this is equals to 3a, and probability at x is equals to 2, which is 5a. So total of this is equals to 9a, and since a is equals to 1 by 81, so this becomes 9 by 81, which is equals to 1 by 9. So that means probability x is less than 3, it is 1 by 9. Now the third part, probability 0 is less than x is less than 3. So 0 is less than x is less than 3. So here x is in between 0 and 3 and excluding the values x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 3. So here we have only two values that is probability at x is equals to 1 plus probability at x is equals to 2. So probability at x is equals to 1 this is nothing but 3a that is this one and probability at x is equals to 2 it is 5a which is nothing but total is 8a so that means probability 0 is less than x is less than 3 which is nothing but probability at x is equals to 1 plus probability at x is equals to 2 so which is equals to probab a sorry this is uh, 3a and plus 5a so this is equals to 8a and since a is equals to 1 by 81, so this becomes 8 by 81. And the fourth part, which is probability x is greater than equals to 3. Greater than equals to 3, here x is equals to 3, including 3 value. So that means x is equals to 3 plus x is equals to 4 plus x is equals to 5 plus x is equals to 6 plus x is equals to 7 plus x is equals to 8. So that means we have to add all the probabilities from 3 till 8. But for this probability x is greater than equals to 3. We can since the sum of all the probabilities it is equals to 1. So we can also write this as 1 minus if we subtract these three probabilities that is probabilities at x is equals to 0, x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 3. If we subtract these three probabilities from a total of 1, we will be getting the probabilities of x is greater than or equals to 3. So this will become probability 1 minus probability x is less than 3. And in the previous case, we already in the second part, we already find out the probability x is less than 3. So which is nothing but 9 by 81 that is 1 by 9. So this becomes 1 minus 1 by 9 and this is equals to 8 by 9. So either you add 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 probabilities or you simply subtract the first three probabilities from 1, you will get the same answer.